This is the SR-71. Today, I'm going to be covering it and telling you all that you need to know about this amazing aircraft. Skunk Works, the creator of the SR-71, started the project in the early 1960s. This aircraft was capable of reaching speeds over Mach 3. It was the fastest aircraft ever to be made. The first SR-71 to roll out of the production line was in the late 1960s. An interesting fact about the SR-71 is the SR-71 is made mostly out of titanium. This is because at high speeds, you need a strong metal material to hold the airplane together so it doesn't break apart. Titanium, at the time, was only found in areas in the Soviet Union, which meant that the United States had to source this titanium from the Soviet Union without having to create any suspicion. Everything on the SR-71 was built from scratch. Nothing on the SR-71 has ever been made before. The jets, the avionics, the ailerons, even just the basic design was all made by hand. When I was first researching the SR-71, I didn't realize that there was two different types of SR-71s. There is the CIA version and the Air Force version. The SR-71 is the Air Force version, and the CIA version is the A-12. There's not much notable difference between the two, but the A-12 is a bit smaller. The first flight of the SR-71 took place in December 1964 out of Palmdale, California. The first operation would only happen until 1968, where the SR-70 flew out of Okinawa, and did reconnaissance missions over North Vietnam. From 1968 all the way up to 1970, the North Vietnamese would fire over 800 missiles at the SR-71. None of them would hit. The SR-71 would fly missions up until the 1990s. The SR-71 was retired, unfortunately, in the late 1990s because the SR-71 had a very high operation co cost. Every single time it went in the air, its frame was bent and torn because of the high heat and air resistance. And also just because the SR-71 would become obsolete because of our satellites and other technology that had come out. Though there might be some hope of a new supersonic j reconnaissance jet. If you've watched Top Gun, you've, you probably have seen the movie part where Maverick is in the SR-72. This is a proposed idea of making a new aircraft that can go supersonic, just like the SR-71. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, have a good day.